On 1858, John Quiner painted the pursuing of the Headless Horseman's arch nemesis Ichabod Crane. It was just for the beginning. The beginning of Ichabod Crane and Headless Horseman. What's he doing in there? Little did he know that he was embarking on a voyage that would make his name as famous as it is feared. Shipwrecked and on an uncharted island, he named it after himself. <gasps> Headless Horseman Pursuing Ichabod Crane This is ridiculous! Negatory! And there's no wreckage! You guys are good! I bet your side wins! Bummer! Bad disguise? Bro, do not go there. My number's like, a lot higher. Yes sir, I understand perfectly sir. There is no problem. <sighs> Okay, Mr. Smarty Pants, you may continue. Know what you want. You know what you need. We know where we live. On a show called Hysteria, Mal Kinnerton will be Headless Horseman, and Toast will be Ichabod Crane. Ha! I walk on the wild side. I laugh in the face of danger. <laughs> they are so I'm going in. Now legend has it that Leo Frick offered to remove the tax. It could dive a road through town naked as a jaybird. Now that I can live with. Boy, I hope the fellas down at the stable don't hear about this. Of course. Now how about the lampshade? You know, the one in your quarters? Fancy one with little whales on it? So don't give up the cannons? The English seem pretty interested in our cannons. How to talk! Hello there, John Quieter here. I'm the American painter who painted the Headless Horseman Pursuing Ichabod Crane. Are you tired of Ichabod Crane being spirited away by Headless Horseman's pumpkin patch like Jack or Lantern? Then come on down for the fabulous prizes of my portraits. And so Quieter was right. It will come to chase Ichabod Crane.